siamo arrivati all'ultima artista della serata che viene dall'America, direttamente da Los Angeles. Ha viaggiato veramente ovunque, ha lavorato nei contesti più diversi. Non vedo l'ora di presentarvi Magical Katrina. Hi! Hello! Hello, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. It's nice to have you here. Thanks for coming. Good. So, um, I want to ask you, what does it mean for you to be a female magician? Volevo chiederti uh, cosa significa per te essere una donna e fare magia. Uh, it, I think it means the same as being a man in magic. I'm not sure if that's the female empowerment answer you wanted. I think I just have different parts we're working with. But, you know, I think, like, personally, and maybe I'm a bit of a... A hippie but i feel that gender is kind of like a construct like money it's just something we kind of all made up you know mm. right and so um i i believe i like playing in those gender roles you know i like being very feminine and wearing dresses and having flowers but i also realize i think it's all personally kind of pretend i think that gender is fluid and you can kind of just choose to be whatever you want um i like being hyper feminine so i like being very girly and magic but um i would say it doesn't, you know, I, I, I more feel like I am a human being in magic, you know? <laughs> sì, 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 yeah, yeah, absolutely. E appunto, uh, chiedendoci cosa significasse per lei, e tra l'altro eccola qui in una, in una locandina di un suo spettacolo virtuale che, che continua ad avere date su date su date. I was saying that this is a virtual show you are doing, that uh, it's having a lot of uh, audience and you're constantly having new, new, new dates every single, uh, you know, in this period. So, um, ci diceva appunto che eh, per lei essere una donna nella magia è come essere un uomo nella magia, nel senso che eh, sostiene che il, il genere per lei sia proprio una, una costruzione che è nata magari per ragioni economiche, per eh, sociali sicuramente, ma per lei che dice mi piace essere femminile, Um, il genere è fluido, per cui uh, vede più la donna nella magia come, non tanto come una donna nella magia, ma come un essere umano e quindi libero di esprimersi come vuole e come preferisce. Thank you for this answer. And um, what styles of magic do you feel are closer to you? Uh, quali, quali stili di magia senti essere più vicini a te? I think the main styles I do are... Well, I started about nine years ago doing magic for children mm -hmm. and then and families. And then as I've grown, I've become more of a close up artist. I do like a lot of strolling magic. Obviously, like I love cards. I love doing cardistry and card things. Uh, and I do a lot of close up magic and strolling magic. I also do a lot of virtual magic. Um, I have been called by a few people the queen of virtual shows i don't know if that's true um but i think i'm doing a lot of virtual magic um more than a lot of other people i guess i i wrote an article i have a reoccurring monthly article in the linking ring which is the international brotherhood of magicians magazine mm -hmm. on virtual magic and i did a penguin lecture on virtual magic and i really just you know do a lot of virtual magic do you want to see a virtual magic trick Oh, we can, yeah. Wait, let me just translate this so that people can follow yeah. us up and then you'll show us everything because I'm really curious about what you're going to show us. E ci diceva appunto che lei ha iniziato quando aveva circa nove anni facendo magia per, per bambini e per famiglie e poi dopo si è avvicinata al close up e le interessano moltissimo le carte, fa cardistry, quindi acrobazie con le carte e poi si è avvicinata al mondo della magia virtuale e tanto da riuscire ad avere un inserto mensile sulla rivista Linkin Ring Uh, The Linking Ring, che è la rivista, una delle riviste più importanti al mondo proprio sull'argomento e addirittura anche una, um, diciamo una conferenza sulla Penguin che è un'importantissima altra uh, diciamo, piattaforma per, uh, per magia e adesso ci mostrerà proprio un uh, gioco di magia virtuale. Yeah, go for it. Ok, great. So uh, I need you to just, what's your favorite card? My favorite card? Mm -hmm. uh, the Nine of Spades. Nine of spades. Okay, very yeah. I'm sure you know that the queen of hearts and the king and the ace are always like the most commonly chosen cards, but you chose yeah, the nine of you, spades. Yeah. Oh, yes. You, I can even yeah. change my mind. If you want, I can choose the queen of hearts. I even like that. No, 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 no. I wasn't trying to, unless you want to. Do you want to change your mind? 
No, no, no. Okay. I keep the nine of spades. <laughs> no, I was going right. to say you think outside of the box. You are original because most of the time when I do virtual shows, people choose the queen of hearts. I wasn't trying to trick you into choosing the queen. All right. All right. Uh, okay. Unless you want to, you can change your mind. No, 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 it's all right. Okay. Mi ha chiesto it's appunto se, se potessi scegliere una carta e ho detto il nove di picche. Go for it. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, I like a woman who knows what she wants. Very good. Very okay. good. So you say nine of spades? Yeah. Okay. What I want you to do is I want you to hold up that nine of spades. Really see it in your hand. All right. Yes. Can see it. Very good acting. Very good. Uh, and okay. now I want you to take that nine of spades and I want you to throw it into this empty glass and say okay. abracadabra on the count of three, okay? All right. One, two, three. Abracadabra. <gasps> Ooh. Let me bring my chair with me. <laughs> we can see a card in the glass. We yeah. can hear a card in the glass. Do you hear that clink sound? Yeah, I do. Your card. The nine of spades. No. Oh. <laughs> it's incredible. Wow. <laughs> This is what they call virtual life. <laughs> è incredibile, questa è stata una cosa assolutamente improvvisata che, che The Magical Katrina ci ha appunto mostrato proprio per farci vedere come sta lavorando tantissimo su questo lato della magia virtuale, molto interattiva, molto visuale. You're amazing, great, great, great. Oh, thank, you. thank you so much for this. Um, and um, could, you, could you share a, a funny moment that happened during a, a performance? Can you, potresti appunto um, condividere con noi un momento divertente che ti è successo durante un'esibizione? Un well, I was filming with Penn and Teller, Will Us, mm -hmm. and I, I think maybe you'll play that video, I'm not sure. And uh, there was all these different pictures of different people, and I asked Penn to, like, say out loud which one he wanted, and uh -huh. instead of like listening to my directions he grabbed one of the cards and like threw it off the table and i remember just being like inside in like internally i was like oh my god because you know if you if you don't want someone to touch your props and then they do mm -hmm. it can like really ruin the whole trick mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so but i didn't want to give that away so i just kind of had to like keep a straight face and i i don't know if he knew that he was messing with it and did it on purpose to just kind of like try and figure out how it works or right. like throw me off or if he really was genuinely didn't realize he was almost messing up the trick um <laughs> fortunately it didn't actually mess up the trick like uh the cards ended up being correct anyway uh but there was like a moment in my head where i was just like oh no oh no oh no <laughs> and, um, you can watch the video i, I tried to keep very calm But yeah, 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 yeah. I, I actually didn't notice that. I've already seen the video and it was like, okay, everything went well and everything. But now that you, now that you told me this, I'm like, she's a really good actress. Um, <laughs> ci ha raccontato appunto di un momento divertente successo durante una sua esibizione che tra un pochissimo vedremo. Eh, lei è stata ospite del programma Pen and Teller, uno dei programmi più importanti di magia al mondo, eh, trasmesso direttamente da Las Vegas e... Um, appunto in un uh, punto dell'esibizione dell aveva delle carte sul, sul tavolo e ha detto a uno dei due presentatori uh, indica o scegli comunque una di queste carte sul tavolo e lui invece di sceglierla quindi mh, senza toccarla l'ha proprio presa in mano e giustamente per un, per un mago il fatto che una persona tocchi uh, un oggetto di cena nel momento in cui non dovrebbe è veramente un problema perché potrebbe eh, portare alla distruzione totale del trucco potrebbe non funzionare nulla invece in questo caso Katrina è stata così brava da mantenere la calma non far vedere nulla perché io personalmente ho visto il video e non ho visto nessuna reazione da parte sua e tutto è filato liscio come, come l'olio quindi bravissima and um, what, what parcel do you use to, to sell your acts or your shows um, I'm talking about the Uh, di, di marketing part uh, quale processo usi per vendere i tuoi numeri i tuoi spettacoli dal punto di vista del marketing uh, so, so what person do I use or what, what do uh, I what do process? oh so many yeah. things um, yeah. I, I do a lot of SEO SEO is search engine optimization so it's All like right. Google right. keywords things like that Um, I highly recommend people look into that search engine optimization. I mm -hmm. hire someone on Upwork.com, which is an international thing. Anyone can do that to write mm -hmm. blog posts and put keywords into them. So things like virtual corporate holiday show or, oh, um, right. you know, uh, walk around wedding magician Los Angeles, you know, things like that. Mm -hmm. I also do a lot of like Google ads. 
and um, just lots of online stuff. I find that's how people find me since I do a lot of, you know, virtual magic. Uh, that's where people are looking is online. Um, so that's a lot of what I do. I do things like this anytime anybody wants to interview me or do a story about me. Like I was written up in the wall street journal and the Washington post, oh, yeah. uh, in America, those are big things. I don't know if you've heard of them in Italy, but, yeah. but um, yeah, yeah. cool. Yeah. So I just say, <laughs> actually, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, 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 I do, I do, I do, I do. Wow. That's, but that's I think incredible. those people, I think those people found me from Googling a uh, female uh -huh. magician and I, I know a lot of women in my area in Los Angeles. Um, I've had them see my website and say, oh, that's offensive to put female magician on your website because, mm. you know, it's like saying female pilot or female president. Like you shouldn't have to say female. Mm. It's like saying no. black magician. Like that doesn't have to do with the magic. As I said earlier, I think gender is kind of a made up role, you know, but yeah. I find even though it is kind of redundant to say female magician and not mm. necessarily People are searching for that. People that want mm -hmm. uh, magicians for their daughter's birthday parties, you know, that want to do it for their women in entrepreneurial group, you know, that women in business. So I find that, you know, even if it is kind of silly to put women in magic, I think for everyone, you should use what makes you different to stand out. And being a mm -hmm. woman in magic is different. And so, like, I recognize that it's kind of like a gimmick, um, but it's, yeah. <laughs> it's, you know, I am a woman in magic and I think that all the people looking for that will find me and the other women that don't put it on their website, I'll just take all the jobs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. That, that's the right thing to do. I do agree with you. Eh, ci racconta appunto che per riuscire a, a vendere i suoi spettacoli o comunque a far sì che le persone la chiamino per lavorare, lei eh, fa un grandissimo lavoro eh, su Google, soprattutto a livello di parole chiave, quindi magari scrive eh, maga che possa lavorare in un matrimonio, oppure soprattutto la cosa più importante che fa, è eh, una delle cose più importanti che fa, è mettere ehm, la dicitura ehm, prestigiatrice donna, eh, female magician, sul suo sito, cosa che fa sì che eh, le persone che effettivamente cercano, cercano una, una donna che faccia magia, poi vadano e eh, su Google le trovino lei. Eh, e lei dice sicuramente non è necessario scrivere donna perché eh, va benissimo non ci sono differenze di genere però in effetti questo è quello che le persone cercano e quindi lei dice mettendo queste, queste parole chiave riesco effettivamente ad avere eh, più clienti e questo ha fatto sì e soprattutto il fatto di fare anche eh, magia online che molte più persone avessero potuto vedermi e quindi è riuscita a finire su giornali come i Wall Street Journal oppure i Washington Post che sono i giornali più importanti al mondo e questo sicuramente è un'ottima cosa che, che la nostra Caterina ha fatto. Caterina, thank you, thank you so much for having been here with us. Say bye to your audience. Bye audience! <ride> e adesso vi mostriamo l'ultima esibizione della serata di questo speciale Natale proprio con Katrina che si esibisce a Pen and Teller Full House direttamente da Las Vegas direi con il video 29 per Giacomo buona visione Magical Katrina Ladies and gentlemen give it up for Magical Katrina It is such an honor to be here. My name is Katrina, and I'm an old-fashioned girl who likes old-timey things from days gone by, like wearing vintage clothing, swing dancing, rotary phones, pen and teller. <laughs> so you can imagine what an amazing thrill it is to be here today. But I didn't just come here to meet my magical heroes. I came here because I need help. Mm -hmm. For the past few years, my dating life has been unsuccessful. And honestly, I think it's because of a lack of judgment. I should probably stop dating magicians. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I actually came here to get some dating advice. Penn, would you come up and help me? I'll do my best. Yeah. Oh, yay! <laughs> awesome. Okay. So, Penn, I actually brought here a bunch of photos of different potential suitors. And I would like you to look at them and tell me if you think they'd be a good match for me or not. Is he in front of a lineup? Yeah. <laughs> good sign. Now, good sign. <laughs> Now, this isn't like those dating apps where you just swipe yes for every single girl in order okay. to hedge your bets, okay? I want you to be a little picky here. Okay, okay I'll be. Okay. So, date or no date? No date. No date. To Brooklyn. <laughs> to Brooklyn. Okay, Brooklyn. Put him here. Date or no date? Uh, no date. Not Brooklyn enough. Not Brooklyn enough? 
Okay. Date or no date? Uh, date, just to be mean to you. Oh, uh, well, I know he looks like he's 10, but he's actually 15. Okay. He has a learner's permit. Okay, date, just to be mean. Okay. Good. Date or no date? Um, I would say no date. No date, okay. Date or no date? Oh, absolutely date. Yes? Good smile, good smile. He yeah. has a little hat? Okay. Yeah, little hat. <laughs> date or no date? Well, you know, uh, I think we're back to uh, to Brooklyn. No date. He's a he's a hipster. But yeah, hipster, no doubt about yeah, it. Hipster. <laughs> oh my goodness, which one? Um, which one well, it's their package deal. Oh, their package deal. Yeah, he then comes no. With the cat. No. Oh no, cat. Okay. Magician. Oh oh goodness, good that we dodged that bullet. Okay. <laughs> date or no date? Good choice. Good choice. Oh, is this for me or for you? <laughs> for you. Oh, okay. Date or no date? Uh, if you like rotary phones, let's go with that. <laughs> okay. Uh, to Ed Norton in both senses. No. Oh, okay. Okay. Yes? Yeah, oh. sure, why not? Okay. Now, that means these are all no's, Okay, right? those are all no's. And these are all yeses. So yes, this is, are. oh gosh, how many is this? This is, um, we have one, two, Three, four, five different people I could go out on dates with. That's still a lot. Could you just point to the one that you think would be my one perfect match pen? You know, uh, I'm going to go with the one who looks the most pleasant and the most fun. <laughs> oh, my goodness. This one? Yes. Okay. So, that means these are all no's. Mm -hmm. Now, pen. I actually have a confession to make, okay? Before I came here, being the independent woman that I am, like Beyonce, <laughs> I already knew which one that I wanted to choose, but I needed a second opinion to confirm. So I actually took these and I drew big black X's on every single one of these cards. All of them, except for one, my favorite one, which I drew a big green check mark on. The very same one that you chose. Pen. That Could you check? show everyone the green check mark? There's the green check mark right there. Yes! Magical Katrina! Siamo arrivati alla fine di questa diretta. Io non posso fare altro che ringraziare tantissimo tutte le artiste che sono state qui con noi questa sera in ordine di apparizione Alice e Sila, Martilda, Maga Psicheredi and Magical Katrina.